the approach here uh, is to have uh, weekly meetings uh, this time. And um, in the last Monday of the month, we have a video day. So where you can uh, also, where the community can show presentations, so they can show results, they can show their, um, their projects, they can show their learnings, or just introduce um, themselves. So um, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, um, a, yeah, a, a time for for showing things, kind of. And the, the other meetings is uh, for questions, for discussions, uh, for uh, getting help, for um, solving blockers, kind of. So just a, a small kind of a scrum meeting like this. And, and to <laughs> yes. get, uh, uh, yeah, to get things done, right? That we can uh, present cool things on, on the meeting like this one. So this is kind of the idea here. <laughs> so thank you. Um, what I wanted to do, and uh, uh, this is also because we have uh, at least two new members from last week. Um, what I wanted to do is quickly introduce myself and uh, what I'm working on. And then I would like to invite you um, to do the same and just take a minute, take two minutes, take five minutes or 10 if you want to, and just um, tell us what you're working on, what you're doing with identity, especially um, where you maybe need help, um, what your vision is, all that stuff. And um, it's an invitation, so you don't have to, um, because I know public speaking and all the shenanigans, um, but I would really like to hear about, about what you're doing. Um, so really quickly about myself, uh, I'm Sven, um, and I have uh, I founded a startup uh, one and a half years ago called Filancore. Um, we have a really ugly website, <laughs> which is about to be replaced soon. Um, so I will make a proper company introduction eventually in the, in the upcoming weeks, I suppose, um, when we have a bit more to show. But um, yeah. Our, our goal at Filanco is to provide a, a tool, a software, which we call Identity Gateway. Um, and, and the vision behind it is, is the following. So uh, we are uh, focusing on self-servant identity for the IoT, for Internet of Things, right? So uh, you want to give small things like a sensor or a small actor an identity. Um, and the Internet of Things contains a lot of things, which means that you have uh, a lot of identities to provide and to manage. And in the ideal case, it would be millions and millions of identities, right? Um, so you need a proper tool to uh, not only provision these identities, um, but also to, to manage them, to keep an eye on them, to, to visualize them also. And then you also have um, some of those topics are, are um, may be coverable through the identity.rs library or, or other client libraries, but some of them aren't. Um, it goes further to, uh, to verifiable credentials. It goes to verifiable credential templates, which are not dealt with at all right now. Um, and our identity gateway will basically, hopefully, make it possible to manage uh, all these millions of IoT devices. So that's what I'm doing. We are basically writing software um, in Rust. Um, currently hiring as well. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, and now I would like to invite you, anybody who wants, uh, Adam, for example, if you would like to, you can tell us what yeah. you're doing. Cool. Awesome. Cool. You have the, the yeah, speech. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm Adam. Um, in all honesty, I'm very new to the IOTA um, system. I'm not a hardcore dev like the majority of people on here. Um, I have experience um, with simple Mern stack JavaScript stuff and HTML. But this, the work you guys are doing is just insane. And um, I also have set up a startup last year called Cropley. And likewise, our website is pretty non-existent at the moment, but that seems to be the common thing at the moment. Um, but yeah, we, we work towards developing applications and things that can support sustainable development in agriculture. And IOTA is just the answer that we've been looking for. Um, the whole system, feelers, open source, it, it just screams 
exactly the same um, goals that, that we're trying to achieve with open access to tools and resources that can empower people who don't have the finances to go for big enterprise blockchain solutions that are only suitable for the top 5%. So yeah, and having spoken to people in the community over the past few weeks, um, I can see the passion and uh, the enthusiasm for everything. So we're looking at, at writing a white paper and developing um, not necessarily a, a, a commercial application or anything, but uh, a tool that can enable the agricultural industry to make use of digital identity um, for things like border control and um, authenticity um, of produce. Um, there's big issues in the agricultural sector with seeds and inputs and fertilizers that that people are selling fake things on the market and digital identities can solve this problem and empower the farmers um, to basically provide um, verification of, of what they're selling. And it, it just creates a safer, more sustainable um, system. Um, it's early days for us at the moment because we're just getting involved with the, the IOTA community, but um, the enthusiasm's there. So as we learn and we get to know you guys more, um, hopefully, I well, I hope we can make a difference as well. So yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that's the basics. <laughs> Sounds awesome, though. Sounds a bit like there's a, uh, some collaboration uh, opportunity here as well, because you're going into similar-ish directions than we, uh, than we do, actually, because uh, you want to provide some tooling as well, right? Yeah, I was when you were talking just now, I was actually very interested in that, um, because sensors in agriculture are, are massive, and especially with the rise in LoRaWAN access and things like that, um, especially in Africa and Asia, um, sensors that have digital identity can just transform the the ver verification and validity of of these um, rural agricultural systems that don't have all the advanced tech and and connectivity. So yeah, um, there's definite definite potential for collaborations. Sounds awesome. And hi, Eric. Thanks for joining. Um, Herbert, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, awesome. Actually, wow, Eric's here. <laughs> hey, Eric. Um, I got introduced to IOTA in 2017 through Eric, actually through a friend, a, a communal friend uh, of ours. And they kind of been following IOTA from the sidelines, um, as much to take as the price <laughs> of the coin. But uh, I'm, I'm really, really excited to be part of this team because I've been for the last year or so, I, I left my job over a year ago and really am looking for a new direction in my life. And a uh, long time ago, I was a programmer and now I'm getting more and more interested in the, the technical aspect of being in IT. Um, until a year ago, I was a um, kind of IT slash operations manager for a home healthcare company here in, in based in Vancouver, Canada, and uh, we spread out all over Canada and the US. And uh, kind of got tired of it. So this is a really, really amazing space. And part of the reason why I also joined the identity team is because um, everywhere I look, uh, kind of like the the uh, Adam, for example, said before too, right? Like, like these identities really allow for honest players to to exist, actually, you know, so they don't get um, bypassed by by non-honest players in in life. And uh, I also started a not-for-profit, so I'm kind of starting to see, you know, how how can this new technology help me and help help the people that that the not for profit is helping um it's all very vague i know at this point i'm really trying to find my way in where is my my role here where is where can i help iota what can i take from iota i, I really need to figure that out still and uh yeah this is really my my first time really looking deeper at at what iota and, and specifically how the identity has to offer. 
That's interesting. So you you have a healthcare background. Did I hear that correctly? Yes. So we have smart um, ag agriculture here, and then we have healthcare here, and we have more. Yeah. Robotic. Yeah. So for me, it's really figuring out, you know, what do I want to do, and and how can I really help, and and if if there is an area that you one of you, or, and it doesn't even have to be directly IOTA, but even, you know, the agricultural project or where they really can, someone really can use, use extra help. I'm, I'm really willing to, to listen and see if my, my skill set, my abilities can, can be of any help there. All right, welcome. Yeah, Anyone else who wants to uh, quickly say a couple of words about him? Um, I think I'm the only one left. Um, I, I, I joined actually just because I saw Sebastian uh, doing a stream and uh, we worked together for some time. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit late to the game. I just was just interested what was going on. Um, but I think some of you might know me because I work for Daniel Trout and uh, WZL Aachen. And uh, we are kind of building a marketplace for machine data and economy and stuff like that. Um, yeah, but I'm I'm a little bit late to the game, so I'm um, probably not really. Um, yeah, I, I I don't know. I I just saw the end of the presentation, so <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> All right. Cool. Then I would um, propose that we just move on to some open discussion, um, question answers, whatever, whatever anyone wants to talk about. Or what do you think, Sebastian? Hi. This is the first presentation of the IOTA Identity X Teams video day. I want to talk about the documentation situation. I'm a technical writer at the IOTA Foundation, and my name is Sebastian. So have fun. So give us uh, just overview. So we have the developer documentation. Uh, we have the Rust library. We have the Wasm library, which is uh, which can be used in JavaScript, in Node.js, or in the browser, or even beyond that. So kind of Wasm runs everywhere, but uh, I think this is a talk for, yeah, this is another talk. And we have the self app, the mobile application. So kind of the, IOTA Identity Wallop application. But first of all, I want to speak what is documentation. So if you go to the repository, we see we have a lot here. So we have a lot of directories, we have a lot of some files, and we have here this readme. So this is where the documentation starts, right? So on the readme file, you can get an introduction, it's morning that we are uh, just uh, yeah on the developer side we have the bindings for web assembly we have the milestones and you get here a very nice idea what is iota identity and yeah so you can just get started um if you look to the directories to the code we have the the examples directory here so you can find the rust examples we have the bindings um, directory with the first binding is the Rasm binding. Um, and here you also, if there's a lot, you find uh, some examples. So we have the examples directory also for uh, the Rasm binding. And you can read how to set up, how to use it, the web setup, uh, webpack, and how to use it. Yeah. So this is nice documented. And um, if you go back to the docs directory, uh, to the docs directory, uh, you have uh, here markdown files, and markdown is kind of yeah, syntax, of syntax for um, uh, yeah, defining things like headers or block quotes or uh, yeah, code blocks. So this is um, this is the documentation. So um, we write the user documentation here, and the developer documentation. Um, is kind of in the code. So if you go here, you see this uh, really nice overview how to use the this uh, Rust library. 
uh, but the code, uh, the, the Rust is a bit different, so you just uh, write the doc documentation within the code. So this is this gets rendered to the Rust docs um, documentation. So, but one step back, so uh, yeah, we have this directory, and here are the you know, overview, the specs, the libraries. So kind of here is everything explained what you need to know as a developer. If we go back to the presentation, so what is documentation? Documentation is code, good documented code, and a nice user guide how to use this code, right? So the code repository is the home for the code and also for the documentation. Uh, we use the approach, the KISS approach, so keep it stupid simple or keep it uh, short and simple, so this is just keep it simple, right? And the try approach, so don't repeat yourself, don't copy things from code to documentation, because if something changes, you are having old documentation and this is not synchronized, so try, right? Don't repeat yourself. And the developer documentation, what you will see in the future, so <laughs> I don't, yeah, this is just a uh, hobby write documentation. But for the developers, or for the developers which will use this, uh, do, this looks something like this. So we have this nice documentation page. So you can also uh, choose a theme. So if you uh, like it light or just uh, like it dark. And you can see, okay, we have here a really nice video from the Eclipse. Code. So this is a video which explains the whole concept of identity from the team lead yellow. So I think this is a very nice start. And yes, this is kind of the same directory folder. So you have um, yeah, the resum getting started. And um, this thing are just consumed by the code. So this is the readme file which you've seen before, right? So we, we don't repeat yourself, we just use the code that style uh, the code and documentation which is already here and combine it together and surface to this very nice website right uh, but this is um, not released yet so um, yeah this will come soon to you uh, you can read this here and you can uh, can um, use it with mdbook to um, yeah surf uh, your own version of this page which just um, with just using mdbookserv. So if you run mdbookserv into the folder, the root folder, you get this nice information page. Okay, let's get back to the presentation. So we have the we have this developer documentation, and the developer documentation will be accessible on identity.docs.iota.org. And it's nothing like rendered documentation on the website nothing more. Okay, let's get to self. So what is self? Self is a, or was a proof of concept by the IOTA Foundation. And it's, um, yeah, it's an identity wallet application. It's, um, it secures your identity and um, you can share credentials and stuff on this application. So you can use this demo uh, to on self.iota.org. And, um, I want to show you the code because this is um, yeah something interesting, <laughs> very interesting for me. So um, this is a um, cross application. So it's built in a JavaScript framework called Svelte. So Svelte is kind of something like Vue.js, uh, React, or Angular, and you can um, you can use it on iOS or Android devices or on the web. So this is really, really nice. Uh, here are some instructions how to set up, how to build application and uh, yeah, get started with it. Uh, we don't have a docs folder here. Uh, this is something uh, we will focus in the future. So um, yeah, currently we are <laughs> very, uh, um, yeah, we have a focus on Chrysalis and not on the, uh, on the here an identity um, on the self app, but I really like to uh, improve the documentation uh, overall. So, uh, but we need help from uh, you from the community. 
Uh, so if you uh, are interested on, on setting up the self-application and m learn more about it and also write some documentation, uh, feel free to reach out to me and uh, I can help you to set up the docs folder to set up the MD book and uh, that you have a really nice page like the, the page you see before. And we have uh, yeah, a, user a user documentation or a developer documentation for the self the self-application. That would be really nice. So uh, yeah, feel free to uh, reach out to me or to uh, some f someone from the IOTA Foundation. Uh, this is the next topic, the IOTA X team. Um, this is a very new initiative um, from the IOTA Foundation and the community, and it's yeah, it's it's to combine the forces, right? So and focus on your goals. So. Uh, we at the Yoda Foundation have uh, some goals, mostly for our industry partners, and we like to also focus on your goals, right? Um, so for community goals, and the X teams is the perf perfect way to do this. Uh, so we, you can um, create an issue or a goal. So we focus on your goals, right? So. Um, you can create a goal like I want to use identity on my uh, microcontroller, or I want to um, yeah write a native um, Android application with IOTA identity, or I want to write a C binding, um, something like this. So um, this um, this X, X, X teams is here to yeah to help you you and to get these goals done. So um, we building small teams, small groups uh, with uh, community people or with a mix of community people and the IOTA Foundation and try to get this goal done and yeah, reach the goal. So we have this um, in the IOTA community called uh, X Teams IOTA Identity Repository. So this is, um, yeah, here's the, the IOTA Identity Experience Team explained uh, some goals listed, and here you can just go to the issues um, tab, and you see here here we already have some goals. So uh, some are from my side, some are from the community. So the C binding, for example, is from the community. And yes, you can just create a new issue and say, okay, I want to create a goal. And yeah, this is my goal. Now. So so you can. Uh, be creat creative um, or just uh, okay if you want to uh, log in um, on a website with IOTA identity. So uh, log in on web. So now you need a nice uh, ex uh, description for it. I will do this in the future or after this talk. And you can create it and you will see it on the list, on the list right? So you can see here. Um, log into web. And uh, yeah, if you want to join the X team, so we have uh, in the Discord a really uh, nice uh, channel where we can talk with, about the X team members. So if you want to join the X team, just go to, to new issue and create an application. So this is a, a initiative application. So you just have some questions for, for you. Are you a developer? Are you a tester, writer, or designer? Some of your skills. Why are you join the X teams and uh, just um, yeah to get um, to know you? Okay, so the future X teams. So this is kind of this now situation, and um, yeah, it's it's kind of the future X team portal. So um, I want to uh, make here a website from it. So. Um, kind of like this here. So we have a blog, meetings, members, and tools. And that would be really nice. Um, so we have the identity block from the, uh, the, the, the IOTA Foundation block with the identity tags here. Uh, we have some cool tools where you can create a DIT directly with Wasm, but this is, it's, it's very ugly right now, but it's, it's just a test. So it's just the beginning, right? And yeah, I, um, I imagine this page to yeah, have a focus on the goal. So you see the goals um, and the people uh, working on it. 
you see feedback so you can um, or you can give feedback to the to the goals so um, if you have ideas or some you found a bug or so you can just say your feedback also in the discord groups um, you have a page with uh, developer tools like this uh, create button and this is kind of uh, yeah this is a spell component which you can also use in your application and this developers tools can expand of course in the future and we have the developer blog, which I really like. So, um, so the idea is to um, have a blog in the GitHub, so everyone can create a blog entry uh, after a successful merge, of course. So you get uh, <laughs> we have a, 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 a log with the the X team champion, and uh, we as the Radio Foundation uh, just watching, uh, just uh, reviewing the, the blog entry. But then it gets published to the X team portal website so this is the idea and for the future for the, for our future goals for for the x teams and yeah if you have questions always feel free to ask questions in the discord channel or reach out to me thanks see you soon then okay. thanks for your time thanks for joining all of you and yeah, where can i find you... the link to the presentation and we'll move the presentation into the um, X team of the IOTA identities. So we mm -hmm. have um, here the page with the with the meetings, and I will have, add this meeting with the presentation. Also, this uh, this video will get uploaded to YouTube. I will add it. Um, yeah, I will just paste in here. So we have um, from the IOTA community in this um, in this Git repository in the X teams IOTA identity. I will post everything here. Okay, cool, thanks. Okay, so thanks, all of you, and have a nice time. See awesome. you next week. Thank you. Have a good evening. You all, too. Right. all right, thank you. Ciao. Bye.